the class 10 exercise 4.1 we are taking a first question check whether the following are quadratic equations or not so quadratic as we know is when the highest power of the variable is 2 quadratic is uh, of the form ax square plus bx plus c okay so just by merely looking at these equations we won't be able to conclude and we are not going to uh, jump to conclusions to see whether the highest power of the variable is 2 or not we'll have to simplify them to the maximum and then after that we'll see whether it is quadratic or not like we've done here see the first one example given to you that is x plus 1 whole square the other side 2 bracket x minus 3 so I'm simplifying this to the maximum means opening this binomial first a plus b whole square identity remember a square plus 2ab plus b square and then this 2 being distributed inside so this becomes 2x and minus 6 now you'll get all the terms to one side and see what do you end up getting okay so since we had 2x 2x on either side i've cancelled that out if you get that 2x here as minus 2x then also it would sooner or later get cancelled so it's up to you then this 6 taken here would become plus 6 and 1 plus 6 7 i've cut short the calculations a little bit you can do it on your own simplify open all the brackets then get all the terms to one side of the equation and then this is the maximum we could have done to simplify okay now these are all unlike terms so what are we observing the highest part of the variable here is 2 that means this equation would be termed as quadratic okay now for the second part x square minus 2 is given on the left side right side minus 2 has been distributed inside here now so this has become minus 6 minus minus plus of 2x again get all the terms to the same side of the equation so we had x square minus 2x this will come here as minus 2x and this minus 6 will become plus to the other side of the equation now you'll simplify again we had no other term of x square so we have x square then minus 2x minus 2x becomes minus 4 and plus 6 this is clearly quadratic form okay ax square plus bx plus c form so simply for quadratic you need to see the variable highest power of the variable should be 2 irrespective of whether we have constant term we have power 1 or not no power greater than this no less than that okay third one likewise you had binomials on either side so we'll multiply we'll open those brackets so x into x x square then minus 2x and plus x which becomes minus of x here you can cut it short or distribute inside it's your choice how you want to do it minus 2 into 1 will give you minus 2 here also x into x x square then either you cut it short as minus x and plus 3x which gives you plus 2x or i've done it first distributing inside and then summing it up together okay so again you had x square x square same things on either side of the equation get cancelled so we are left with minus 2 uh, plus 1 gives you minus of x left over and this minus 2 was the only constant here and here minus x and plus 3x becomes plus 2x when you get it to the other side of the equation it will come as minus 2x now it's up to you if you want to show this working of simplifying and then getting all the terms together or you want to show this distribution or again cut it short with the help of identity that's uh, entirely up to usually how short you can cut it okay so then again getting all the constant terms one side what are we observing see x square is no more existing so the variable is present with power one means this is actually linear equation it is not quadratic the maximum simplified form is ka. okay next one also now see likewise just distribute solve it open this bracket here first so you get 2x square then you get minus 6 from here then you get a plus x from here minus 3 into 1 that gives you minus 3 this x has been distributed here as x square plus 5x now get all the terms to the same side of the equation so you had 2x square this will come here as minus of x square then minus 6 plus 1 has come out to be minus 5 and this plus also comes here as minus on the other side of the equation right and minus 3 now putting all the terms together all the x squares plus 2 minus x square gives you plus x square left and minus minus 5 becomes minus 10 x and so clearly a quadratic form for the fifth one also children will do the same simplify it 2x square this 2x into 3 gives you minus 6x and this minus 1 into x gives you minus x and minus 1 into minus 3 gives you plus 3 okay all these 
you are you know how to multiply all those binomials you've done in class 7 8 so many times then x into x becomes x square here this becomes 5x and this becomes minus of x and plus 5 into minus 1 gives you minus 5 now so we had 2x square here already and this x square comes to the left as minus x square then this has been put together minus 1 minus 6 gives you minus 7x and this plus 5 minus 1 becomes plus 4 which to the other side will come as minus x okay and this 3 was already there this 5 also comes here as plus 5 all this calculation is up to you children whether you want to simplify here first and then get the things to one side or cut it short as together again putting all the like terms together so 2x squared minus x squared gives you x squared minus 7 minus 4 gives you minus 11x and the constants total 8 so clearly you can see that's quadratic form Continuing with the next part, we had x square plus 3x plus 1 given on the left side. Right side had x minus 2 whole square, which can be opened by a minus b whole square as a square plus b square minus 2ab. Okay, identities I hope you all remember and you can manage them. Okay, then x square x square, same things on either side of the equation gets cancelled or maybe you get x square in the next step here. So plus x square minus x square would get cancelled then collecting all your x's 3 was already there this will come as plus 4 so total plus 7x and then 4 also goes there as minus 4 minus 4 plus 1 becomes minus 3 okay it's totally up to you how you solve it so clearly this is linear form once again it's not quadratic highest part 2 nahi hai all right next part this is now a plus b whole cube remember your identity a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube okay so we have opened this a x plus 2 by that identity a plus b whole cube you ought to remember those identities studied in class 8 okay so this is your a cube this is your b cube this is your 3a square b 3 into x square into 2 3 2 are 6 x square then 3a into b square so 2 square becomes 4 4 3 are 12 and x okay so all that you know then this 2x has been distributed inside so this becomes 2x cube minus 2x again getting all the terms one side x cube was already there that 2 comes as minus 2x cube here so we have put it in descending order first the highest power cubes were coming then the squares as many squares we had only one square so just one square then the next power 1 x to the power of 1 so 12 x was already there this will also come as plus 2 constant was 8 now putting all the like terms together this gives you minus x cube this was all alone this will add up to give you 14 and 8 so we in the end we are still left with x to the power of 3 so this is not quadratic because my highest power 3 are ye. it is cubic polynomial okay highest power is 3 the next part you had was x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 already given and this side again you had a minus b whole cube which has four terms a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube okay so by identity if you put this in your identity your a as x and b as 2 these four terms you get which is helping you x cube x cube one on the either side is getting cancelled so you had minus 4x square here and this will also come here as plus 6x square so total 2x square still remain then minus x and from here minus 12 so that becomes minus 13x then you add 1 from here and plus 8 more will come as plus 9 so the leftover is clearly coming out to be quadratic okay so the key is first open all the brackets apply your identities do all the multiplication distribution simplify it to the maximum put all like terms together one side and then see which is the highest far if the highest far is 2 it is quadratic anything more anything less it is not quadratic